in that bed. I'm pretty much tired of every show being compared to Blood and Water. I don't know who keeps doing that. But guys, have you heard of Best Friends in the World? It's a show about students that have been held back for decades now. They will never graduate. <laughs> I still believe that somehow the Avatar will return to save the world. And he's back. Welcome back to my channel, guys. A trailer for all of us just dropped and some of you will be watching it now. But I think you miss a lot of context if you watch it as it is. So this is me giving you context, context, context of the show, all of us. So come with me as we explore the huge rabbit hole of all of us. The gang is a collective of social media influencers who decided to dabble in the arts of web series. Can they act? Who knows? My favorite movie is Blackberry Babes, and I see this as the peak of acting. Excuse me, what is going on? Shut up! Madam, is this the idiot? No, where's Leo? We didn't do that. You surprised me. You didn't tell me you were coming. Yeah, I wanted to. So take my words with a grain of salt. <laughs> so two years ago, they dropped a five minutes long teaser. I heard the trailer was going to be eight hours long. Let's, let's not talk about how long the episodes will be. But this will be the blueprint of what all of us would become. And trust me, this teaser has it all. Let me explain. What we first see is this goddamn bridge, man. Jeez, every movie. We then see some girls wearing cheerleaders clothes. So I'm sure this was made in South Africa. This is like blood and water. Okay. Yeah, I'm the one who is comparing shoes to blood and water. Shut up, shut up. But this is when the confusion for this teaser itself starts. A random babe comes into class. Apparently, this is her first day in school. Her name is Beauty, by the way. And immediately, you notice the acting year needs some work. You must be the new girl we start in this book. Yes, my name is Viti. You're 15 minutes late, but you still have enough time to settle down for the next class. I'm so sorry, so why are you? Jesus. And I'm not just talking about how some kids are wearing uniforms and the others are dressed like an extra in Smallville. The teaser does this thing where they give additional information in text for the characters we see. And that's the best part about this teaser. For instance, this is Prissy. She is the class captain and her only reason to be in this show is for exposition. Don't you not ask for something? And don't you know how to return things when you borrow them, eh? Okay. Ah, mama go there. They call her a philomath. Why? The show is for kids. Who knows that meaning? She's also career-minded, which I genuinely do not understand. <laughs> that sounds like that. Talking about a woman. If you think her caption was weird, Beauty probably has a beef with the editor. They said she's calm and naive. <laughs> Maybe because she's not as career-driven as her fellow students. <laughs> So weird. <laughs> then we have Any. Also, these guys are using their actual real life name, which I found weird a little bit, but it's fine. They call him Class Genius. He is a straight A student also, and he said he's annoying. And I stand by that, because I see a little bit of him in me. And I'll explain more later on. Let's keep going. Who's that? That's Any. The class talkative. But also the class smart pants. He usually comes first till he came second when he had to write exam from the school hospital. Oh, that's interesting. I, I don't think Beauty wants to be in this school. She has no enthusiasm at all. But also, I can't even fault her because if it was my first day in school, the last thing I want is to be in front of a class and someone tells me about the students I don't care about. But what is a high school show without a stereotype fine boy? And here comes Eronini. I might be pronouncing his name wrongly. I don't care. A football team captain. Sketcher, which is like an artist, or maybe Sketcher's the shoe, maybe that's what he uses to play football. And yeah, he is also flirtatious. I didn't see that one coming. I have a bone to pick with the editors and the whole team behind the post-production because music to me sets the tone for your show and I feel a lot more thought should be given to songs as much as you give to uniforms. We now have the final babe named Frances. She is the popular girl in school. Also elegant, stylish, and confident. 
the editor likes this one. Their teacher then comes in. I don't know his name, but he has a cane, so I respect him immediately. He announces that there would be a competition for smart kids with a cash prize of 1 million naira and an all expense pay trip to Abu Dhabi. And honestly, back in my days, <laughs> I would never be selected for this, it's special needs. But I push the line with it. We can be on a three hours time difference. That made no sense. But I just wanted to add the, the, the rap there. Again, as I said, special needs. The winner goes home with one million naira and an all expense paid trip to Abda. Is that all? I only thought the price would be more intriguing. Okay, Francis, we know you're rich. It's okay. Shut up. Override purple. Yeah. Who said yeah? It reminded me of this meme. Ooh. Bro ate everything but the... Yeah. Yeah. So, hi. Can zoom in, zoom in closer. We're almost at 50,000 subscribers. And this is me just telling you guys to subscribe. Also, if you want to know where I've been all this while, um, I've been on my podcast. It's called Zero Expectations Podcast. Our motto is simple. If you had expectations, you wouldn't be here. You can zoom out a little bit now. All right, I'm going to go back into the video. Go zoom in again. Zoom in. You're going to go back into the video. Enjoy the rest of the video. And you might not see me again. You will. Okay, okay bye. At break time, yes, we're going to call it break time, Any gets into some snitching behaviors with the only lecturer in the whole school. Literally, I've not seen anybody of his age group around this school. And it's so weird because this man feels like the principal, teacher, gate man, but also part-time mechanic. And I want to put you in charge so that you can report to me any of this misconduct. Yes, sir. But honestly, this is the most relatable thing about this show because of any. Like, I see myself in him. When I was younger, I used to write names of noisemakers and I used to be so political with it. If you were near my crush confidence, damn man, I'm writing your name down with like 20 X's, 60 times. It did nothing, you know, but just the mere fact that I had power took over my head. Hey, and let me just tell you people now, Mr. Obasi has put me in charge. It'll be like between any hour, make sure you people get in trouble. Yeah. Don't worry. Ah, don't worry now, when I report all of you and get in trouble, you will know now, so shut up. Eronini loves Prissy, and Prissy doesn't want to be distracted by anyone. Not because she doesn't like him, everyone likes him, but because she knows he's a player, and plenty babes love this guy, so she doesn't want to be beaten up. And as a career-driven woman that she is, she has the foresight at this point, I love it. Prissy, why are you not taking my calls? Now why I know they let me all these boys, they follow me, come read. I know they let me, they come follow me, come read. Which one? Which can which can work? Do this can work now. Which can illegal work with this one? Huh? I'm not lying. This interaction that is about to happen now is the funniest I have ever seen, and I will go play by play to explain it to you. So soft which is this guy, they did not give him a caption, which is very weird. I was already getting used to it. He's trying to be a weak man for Eronini, telling her that she should chill now, give him a chance. He's not a player. Chrissy, my homeboy has been trying to talk to you and he said you've been giving cold shoulders. Soft, I don't want problem, I beg. No problem. And after she said she doesn't want troubles, he became sexist out of nowhere. I told you I'm not dating Malia, she's the one dating me. Man, please let me just pass. No, 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 he's not lying, no. he's just hanging with her. Because of you've not been giving him green light. So I beg. Bro, I beg. don't worry, that's what they do. What, what do you mean by that? Eronini and Soft probably have the bromance that I always wanted. Anytime both of them come together, they have a collective IQ of zero. So please explain what exactly are they saying here? Yeah. That guy don't to the overstep, I don't like him. I say I don't like him. to the overdo. We have to last spring, we could track him. Eh? We could track him, maybe. This guy go, go cast us. We go, and I'm used to this. Ah, big guy. But after this, the show had the audacity to say next teaser. Like more teasers. Why? Is that a new thing to call episodes teaser? Or oh, wait, that episode's a racial slur now. So I shouldn't be using it anyhow. I better be careful. <laughs> after the first teaser, we hear nothing from them. Maybe there was something, but I don't even know. And they go ghost for two years. Then we see Beauty and Eronini with a name change. He's now Elijah. Hey. What is it, Elijah? I have to get inside. He told his babe he's going to military school and they kiss. I feel a lot happened and I missed so much. So guys, explain to us the gang, what did you do to my favorite show of all time? And how this guy is kissing on the road? That's why I said this is not Nigeria. No one kisses on the road. Even married couples don't even have the ability to kiss on the road. But now we have secondary school students kissing on the road in front of her father's house. 
How is that possible? The only thing I could do in school was hold hands with confidence. <laughs> confidence, if you are watching this video, I love you and I miss you. <laughs> yeah, I need more state at the moment and I <laughs> just dox in this video. <laughs> Sorry. But after this, again, we won't hear from them until they dropped the trailer. And I think what happened is the idea changed so much. And I like what I saw from the trailer. It seems like a lot of them have grown and become better actors. And they have the help from actual this goddamn bridge, man. Jeez, every movie. Will I be reviewing this show for shizzle? <laughs> Are you said okay uh, thank you guys for watching truly appreciate you guys hey please subscribe turn on post notification like this video also and check out my podcast channel that's all i wanted to see uh, it would be nice if you also tell them to support so take the hi guys support, <laughs> support. okay okay good good i like this one i like this <laughs> So oh, hi. This is. I missed it. Welcome back. Oh, sorry, no, 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 no. I'm supposed to say. And he's okay with. Does this look? Can you stay like a man? Is this okay? And he's back.